Let's Plant Colors by Marianne Mitchell Art by Ruth J. Flanagan Jose and Dad looked at the bare flower beds. Let's make them pretty for Mother's Day, said Dad. Jose said, it needs colors. You're right, said Dad. It needs colors. Let's plant some. At the garden center, they found lots of flowers. Jose said, I want flowers in many colors. Dad helped him pick out red, pink, purple, and yellow flowers. When they got home, Dad set out the little flowers. As Jose dug holes in the dirt, he sang, red, pink, purple, yellow. Dad placed a flower in each hole. I'm following your color pattern, he said. As Jose patted the dirt around each plant, he kept singing, red, pink, purple, yellow. When all the flowers were in the ground, Dad said, the flowers need one more thing. So Jose got his watering can. They need water. And he gave the flowers a drink. Then Jose ran inside to get mom. When she saw all their hard work, she said, the flower beds are beautiful, Jose. What a wonderful Mother's Day present. And she gave him a big hug. Finding Grammy's Present by Marianne Mitchell Art by Carrie Pillow Rosa and Mom went to a garden center to find a birthday present for Grammy. They stood in a jungle of leafy plants. Grammy likes house plants, Mom said. One plant was as tall as Rosa. She said, it's so big. Mom held up a tiny fern. How about this? Rosa shook her head. It's so small. They walked past rows of pretty flowers. Grammy likes flowers, said Mom. Rosa sighed. It's so difficult to choose. Yes, said Mom. It is hard to choose. Then Rosa spotted a gardening set right next to the petunias. The set had some pretty pots and a bag of soil. She said, let's buy these. After dinner, Grammy opened Rosa's gift. Then they filled the little pots with soil and added the petunias. Grammy placed the pots on her kitchen windowsill. This little garden is just right, she said. Rosa grinned. Happy birthday! How many now? by Judy Enderly and Stephanie Gordon. Art by Deborah Melman. Yum! Five apples in the apple tree. Here's one for you. Here's one for me. Now how many apples do you see when you're looking up in the apple tree? Yum! Three apples in the apple tree. Here's one for you. Here's one for me. Now how many apples do you see when you're looking up in the apple tree? Yum! One apple in the apple tree. Here's half for you. Here's half for me. Now how many apples do you see when you're looking up in the apple tree. 
No more apples in the apple tree. But look in the garden. What do you see? There's lettuce and broccoli. Enough for you, enough for me. Harvest Soup by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Julie Fortenberry. Isabel helped Grandma harvest the garden. First, they picked tomatoes. Isabel said, Mmm, tomatoes. Next, they picked squash. Isabel said, Mmm, squash. Then they pulled up onions. Isabel said, Mmm, onions. Finally, they dug up potatoes. Isabel said, Mmm, potatoes. Grandma and Isabel filled a basket with the vegetables they harvested. Do you like soup? asked Grandma. Isabel nodded. Yes, I like soup very much. Isabel helped Grandma wash the vegetables. Then they cut the vegetables and put them in a pot of water. Soon, the soup boiled and bubbled on the stove. When Mom came home, she asked, What's for dinner? Isabel said, We have soup. Mmm, said Mom. My favorite, harvest soup. Seeds by Charlotte Gunnifson. Art by Constanza Basiluzzo. Pose, make rows. Fingers, plant seeds. Rain is what our garden needs. Sprouts push up. Small green leaves. Sunshine warms. Hands pull weeds. Flowers bloom and buzz with bees. Fuzzy vines twine and lead to striped watermelons with small black seeds. Time to Plant by Anna Galan. Art by Francesca Asarelli. Grandma Hen and her little helper Chicka Chick were in the garden. It was time to plant their vegetable seeds. First, we need soil, said Grandma Hen. Here's the soil, said Chicka Chick. She opened a bag of soil and poured it into the vegetable bed. Now we need to dig holes in the dirt, said Grandma Hen. Here's the shovel, said Chicka Chick, holding up a small shovel. She used it to dig holes for the seeds. Grandma Hen found a shovel and dug holes too. Now we need to plant the seeds, said Grandma Hen. Here are the seeds, said Chicka Chick. They worked together and planted all the seeds in rows. Now we need to water the soil, said Grandma Hen. Chicka Chick looked for the hose, but she couldn't find it anywhere. But just then, she felt a drop on her head, and another one. It was raining. Here's the water, said Chicka Chick. Grandma Hen smiled. Perfect timing. She said, the rain will help our seeds grow. Bear's Plum Tree 
by Maggie Murphy, art by Kristen Sora. All the plums on Bear's tree were ripe. I'll share these sweet plums with my friends, he said. So he filled three bags with plums. Then he strolled off to Badger's house and gave her the first bag. These plums look delicious, said Badger. I have something for you too, fresh cherries. Thank you, said Bear. Next, Bear climbed the hill to Raccoon's house and gave him the second bag. What a nice surprise, said Raccoon. I have something for you, too. Apricots. Thank you very much, said Bear. Finally, Bear circled back to Rabbit's house and gave him the third bag. Mmm, I love plums, said Rabbit. And I have something for you, too. Peaches from my trees. Thanks said Bear. I have wonderful friends. Back at home, Bear smiled. Now I know just what to eat for supper, he said. And Bear made fruit salad. Watch more on Highlights High Five, the channel just for you.